Hello everyone, today's video will be about RGB LEDs, but not the classic RGB LEDs we know, the 12 volt ones, but instead it will be about addressable RGB LEDs, the WS2812B, the new motherboards Z370 have special connectors to connect these addressable RGB LEDs and I decided to give it a try. Most of the motherboard softwares like Asus Aura supports these new LEDs with special effects. This is how they look like. Let me get a close-up and catch the focus. And there we go. They come just like 12 volts RGB strips in various sizes. There are 30 RGBs per one meter of strip. There are 60 and I also seen 144 LEDs per one meter strip. The ones I have here are 30 RGB LEDs per one meter and I tell you even if it's the smallest strip it's already very bright and really powerful. As you can see they have only three pins. There is a GND, the ground. Uh, they are powered from 5 volts and there is third line which is the data line that sends the information which LED should light up because yes the main difference between the classic 12 volt RGB strips and these ones is that the software can exactly tell which RGB on the strip should turn on and in what color. This allows us to create really creative and interesting light effects where the old 12 volt RGB strips would always, ha always have the same color and always look the same on the whole length of the strip. The connector looks different than the one in old RGB strips, but it's still a standard and motherboards usually come with cables that fit it. These strips are usually sold in meters or half of meters but as you can see there is a space in between each RGB LED where you can cut the strip, solder new wires and divide the whole strip into two new strips. Also there is another difference these uh, addressable RGB LEDs can be powered from external power source if your motherboard can't power enough of these RGBs you can connect them directly to your PSU and use many more of them this is something different from old 12 volts RGB strips where this was impossible because the power was the control signal at the same time. And this is how the cable that came with my motherboard looks like. It fits straight into the RGB strip connector. No modifications needed. As you can see the connector is 4 pins wide but 
one of the pins pin is missing, it's normal because these strips only use three signals. Depending what motherboard you have, the connector may be in different place. You should always check with your motherboard manual to locate it. In Asus Maximus Hero it's right next to the start button and the header itself is a little smaller than the standard gold pins like from fans so the connector is slightly different No, just like with the old strips there is one limitation of course the motherboard header current limitation it's 3 amperes for Asus Maximus Hero each RGB LED draws about 60 milliamperes of current so it gives us the total of 50 RGB LEDs per strip this limitation can be overcome by powering your strip directly from PSO but the Asus Aura software has its own limitation of 60 RGBs per strip. But enough of talking, let's see how it looks in action. Asus Aura already recognized it. This is the standard static color, nothing special, but notice how bright they are. This is the classic breathing effect. Nothing special, this is what the standard RGB 12 volts LEDs can do. Let's find something that will show true potential of addressable LEDs. And here we go, this is the rainbow effect. It speaks by itself, you can see clearly that the LEDs are changing colors one by one from the beginning to the end of strip. This is something you can never have on the normal 12 volt RGB strip. This is another effect. You can clearly see that the addressable RGB strip is synchronized to the motherboard LEDs. This is another effect, I don't remember its name, but I will be making second video showing exactly how the effects look like and what they are called. This is some kind of wave effect. This is very dynamic effect. I think it's flash and dash. This is my favorite effect called Starry Night. You can see that each LED randomly flashes from time to time, just like stars are blinking in the sky. And that would be it from the Asus Aura support for addressable LEDs, the special effects that make use of them. Hopefully in future Asus Aura will expand its range of effects when more people will start using these addressable RGB LEDs because in my opinion they are really great they have great potential for customization and visual, visual effects but besides just adding more effects 
Asus Aura also has to increase the maximum number of LEDs per strip. Currently it's 60, which is extremely small limit. I've seen people who, who could drive over 1000 of these LEDs using simple microcontroller rack like Arduino. So I don't know why Asus Aura made such small limit. But anyways, when I get these strips mounted properly in my case, I will be making another video that will clearly show how they work and at the same time how they look in Asus Aura. Thanks for watching everyone and if you found this video helpful please uh, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching.